So hello YouTube, my name is VladForever.com and what I have in front of me is um, Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, hard wallet and I believe that it actually supports um, other currency as well. So basically Ledger Nano S is a hardware wallet based on a secure element for storing cryptocurrencies and managing accounts, embedding a screen to check secure digital payments. So yeah, open source and developer friendly. Install third-party apps and build your own. Nice. So yeah, Paris via Zon. I cannot even pronounce it. San Francisco. Yeah. Is that a dude named Paris or is it a Paris or? Oh well. The box looks actually rather nice, I believe. Kind of has something between Apple design and uh, maybe show me something like that. So yeah, let's open the box. Inside we have this thing, which is a USB device. Um, I uh, let's take a look at this thing later. I will be. Con I already did configure it, and then I remember the iMac videos. So, mm. but yeah. Okay, so this is well useless. This is also useless. We have a. This is, I believe, for carrying. And this is a USB for connecting it. The interface is actually really nice. Also for getting or for you know, oh well. Now here we have welcome. Now let me open this thing. There are actually three cards inside. This is a recovery sheet which is confidential and I will not be showing it to you obviously because as I said I already did set up the uh, device. However, I only uh, wrote down the uh, recovery words and I actually printed out the uh, sheet and it looks like this. My recovery phase. There are 24 random words which are provided by the uh, stick and basically that is it uh, you should never take photo of this or uh, you know this should remain in a non-digital form so write the words down and hide them somewhere now as I said I actually didn't uh, set up pin and basically that is it now I'll be using this thing getting started which I believe it says that we should go to start.leisurewallet.com and follow the instructions to configure your device. So, nice. These are actually uh, quite uh, high quality paper and this thing looks like, uh, well, it's made by Apple, so... Mm. <laughs> That's why it's expensive. Anyway, did you notice there is no anti-tempering sticker on this box? So it says that basically the mechanism checks the integrity of your device every time it's powered on. Well. Maybe it's bullshit, maybe it's not, but eh, who knows, so they say it is tamper-proof. And basically that is it, so incidentally I have a laptop in here, <coughs> cough cough, and incidentally I installed Google Chrome and uh, this thing incidentally uses Google Chrome. Let's start Google Chrome and uh, let's connect the device. Uh, now basically the uh, this thing is actually rather uh, easy to use. So you have a USB in here. There are two uh, buttons and that is basically it. So let's connect it and let's see what will show up. So I need to enter my pin and you enter pin by going up and down. And uh, if you want to confirm you just press both. If you want to go back you choose I can go back and you delete the pin. Now let me enter the pin. Okay, so once you have entered the pin, you press both buttons and basically that is it. Now, to be honest, I actually uh, didn't configure anything else. So I configured my pin and as I said, I wrote down these 24 words. Basically, you get word and you press ne uh, this, I believe, right button for next and I believe this one for previous or something like that. But anyway, quite easy. So, let's... Uh, nope. Let's get started. So start.ledgerwallet.com Okay. Sounds pretty straightforward. So, first what I need to do is to select the device which is this one. Install Bitcoin Wallet. Okay. Okay, add app. Ethereum Wallet, click to install. Add app. Okay, Ripple wallet. Oh, these wallets have actually 62 megs, so that is why 
it is actually uh, slow. I will be fast forwarding it, of course. Okay. Oh, this is the EXE. So, go figure. Yes. Okay, let's start. So I kind of figured it out. Actually, it's not that um, difficult. What you should do is go to uh, settings. Now, as I said, I'm not a Chrome user, so um, yeah, extensions. And as you can see, I should have Ledger Wallet, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. So uh, you should click on details and uh, create shortcuts on your desktop. Okay. Did I create shortcuts? Yes, I did. And for my Bitcoin as well. And for my, uh, well, manager as well. So I think that that should be it. So let's see. I will be closing this. Okay. So yeah, there you go. And there are a couple of wallets on my uh, desktop. So let's start uh, Ethereum wallet. And now what I should do in here is choose Ethereum. And open it and there you go that is pretty much it and it is uh, well it is easy it is easy to use so let's see so send receive and that is pretty much it so if you want to send some money you know where go figure now um, yeah, it, it's actually quite easy to use and I believe when you exit, quit up, this should probably, yeah, there you go.